Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 25th of 2020, well, it is titled Jupiter's Magnetic Field from Juno. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image showing a snapshot, just a single instant of Jupiter's magnetic field. Now, for some things like the Earth, the magnetic field does not change very rapidly. However, for things like Jupiter and our Sun, the magnetic field can change more quickly. So we're just seeing an instant of this magnetic field. Now, it is a video that will run about 45 seconds, and as you play the video, what you will see first is an image of Jupiter along with the magnetic field, which looks pretty normal at first, and then you see this great blue spot. Now, the blue means that that is a north magnetic field, so a very strong north magnetic field there, and that is, that is present. And we also, then it will skip to a second section where you're looking around the polar regions. And there you can see the south magnetic field not being a single pole, but being almost a complete ring around the northern part of the planet. You can also note that the two are really not exactly opposite to each other. We expect the North Pole and the South Pole to be opposite as they are on, say, the rotational poles or even the magnetic poles here on Earth. However, when we look at them here, we're seeing that they really are not, that one is actually closer to the central uh, regions of the planet at this point. So... It is interesting to see that things are not completely lined up with Jupiter. Now, this is also the case with the Earth. Our north magnetic pole does not align with our north rotational pole. Uh, the north magnetic pole of the Earth is actually slightly displaced from the north geographic pole. So they're not exactly the same on Earth any more than we see here that they are on Jupiter. Now, the other thing that you see in this is the lines that are shown represent the magnetic field. And just look at one constant magnetic field strength. So it gives us an idea of the complexity and how twisted the magnetic field is. So in many ways, Jupiter is more like our sun in that it has a very complicated magnetic field. The Earth is relatively simple uh, by comparison. So here we have some very interesting things that we look at in terms of the ring-like nature of the magnetic field uh, up towards the poles and the fact that it really is not lined up. Now, Jupiter's magnetic field is believed to be created inside the planet by currents of metallic hydrogen, which is hydrogen which has been compressed under very high pressures to a liquid state. But not only to that, but also to the point where electrons are no longer bound to the individual atoms and they flow freely. So just as electrons can flow through a copper wire, electrons can flow through this metallic hydrogen. And that allows the currents to be able to flow and those spinning currents will generate the magnetic magnetic fields that we're seeing here. So perhaps due to that is why we get a much more complex magnetic field on Jupiter and in fact also on our own sun which is also which has uh, different methods of creating its magnetic field than we see here on our own earth. So that was our picture of the day for February the 25th of 2020. It was titled Jupiter's Magnetic Field from Juno. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Planet Lost. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.